Hello, my friends, and welcome back to PlayStation Livecast. I am joined by Mark Lamia, the studio head at Treyarch. Hello, sir. Hello. That was fitting intro music for us. <laughs> I'm like feeling really amped up now. It was now. pretty epic. <laughs> uh, first of all, it was so great to have you on our uh, press conference stage last night. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I did. It was, uh, you know, it's first time being on there that stage Welcome. and being able to talk to the PlayStation Nation. So Absolutely. It was pretty, pretty exciting. Well, for it's us. good to have you. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something. I've never heard of the game Call of Duty in my life, not, not a single time. <laughs> no, but if just walk me through Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which is coming to PS4 November 6th, correct? Yeah. yeah All right, good. I've got to make sure. Yep. T tell me about it, man. Give me like a, a nice overview for the masses. Well, it's, it's hard to encapsulate it in just a few sentences because it really is three games in one, right? You get an epic and cinematic, intense campaign, right? It's an yeah. action thrill I, like you can't experience. I don't think in any form of entertainment, right? It's pretty much, and it's even, and it's, and it's, and, you know, and we changed it up this year, right? We're we're introducing co-op, uh, or you can play it single player, but sure. you can play it up. With if I'm by my friends. lonesome with popcorn, that's fine. And you know what? It, it's it's set up for that, but it's also set up for four players, and we really wanted to give players the ability in this one to have some choice, a lot more choice than you've ever had in a Call of Duty game. So. When you're setting up for battle, you know, those are gonna be the upgrades, the abilities that you have, or the weapons, how you how you outfit yourself, your character, the personalization of your character are all gonna be your choice. So that when you go in the game with you and your friends, that's gonna be you in the yep. game, right? So when we go to a when we go to a a, a cutscene, we wanna tell some narrative in yeah. the game. That's done in game so that it's you, you right? Yeah. So you get to enjoy that. And I think that's super important because if you're gonna be playing co-op. If I want to play with you, maybe I'm already further advanced, right? And I, I mean, probably you're the studio no, head. No, 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 maybe I'm so already yes. further advanced in the game than you, and sure. I want to be able to go back and play. And so what we've done is we've architected levels so that no matter when you play it, the AI adapts to it. it All right. It's, it's, it's a great, you know, we've, we've created an entirely new AI system for this game. Tons of new archetypes. Okay. There's tons of, of, of just amazing moments in the game. Uh, all kinds of new technology on the battlefield in the year 2065 uh, to play with, and it's just it's just a fun, epic experience. And that's just the campaign, right? You got you got to slow down. I'm like taking notes. Okay. I, I can't keep up. No, no, so, do it, man. So look, I mean, it's Call of Duty. Yeah. Right. Multiplayer is the lifeblood of the franchise. And look, you were so proud of what we made with Black Ops 2, and we just wanted to keep bringing it for the fans. Absolutely. And so many people on PlayStation play it, um, and uh, it's been such a great community. Um, this time we're just bringing it. I mean, we really wanted to let players feel powerful. We've created an entirely new movement system. We've crafted new maps for the players that it took us it took us hundreds of iterations and over over the course of even the very first year of development just to get the right movement and map design the way we wanted it so that players it would just feel smooth, fluid, yeah, it's precision, absolutely. it's control. It's, it's, it's everything you love about Black Ops 2 movement, just more of it and better. It so, really, it's the best thing we've ever made. So you're telling me you didn't make it overnight and it is actually a lot of hard work. Yeah, no, it took all, <laughs> like, we couldn't have done this game without having three years of development. That's incredible, Yeah, right? and, and then, uh, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. No, yeah. no, you don't apologize to me. This, well, you asked this me the is question, you now. right? This is you. So there's so much more to talk about multiplayer, <laughs> but I'll move on. Zombies. Right. Um, you knew what I was thinking. We, no, we rehearsed this. Yeah, listen, no, <laughs> no Treyarch game would be complete without shipping zombies on the disc with the game. The fans have been so great to us. Um, it started out as an Easter egg after, you know, the credits rolled on a game that we it's, made oh. seven years ago with World at War. I did not know that. It was just, it was an Easter egg. And it was only because the fans enjoyed it so much and they kept asking for it that we were allowed to bring it to the forefront in the Call of Duty franchise, because we say it now, Call of Duty Zombies, it's a, you know, yeah, of course, like you get zombies. Everyone knows. Right, everyone knows. You well, there was a time. You in a coffee shop and you like Call of Duty Zombies, right. they're like, yeah. Right, and that's well, there, it? Was, there was a time when there was a lot of people at Treyarch with a lot of heart and passion and sacrifice doing a lot of work that arguably may not have been the sanest thing for us to take on during that development. Um, and you can't take that for granted. It's because, you know, the fans, have elevated it that we get to bring it to the forefront and yeah. make it its own game inside of you know Black Ops. And yeah. we did that with Black Ops 2, we're doing it with Black Ops 3, except this one is just gonna blow people's minds. And if because it's not like you guys went in and were like, well we got zombies now, let's just, we'll take out the multiplayer and just put in zombies instead. Like you guys do do everything. Yeah. I mean that's an incredible amount of work for a team that's just like really passionate just cranking it out. I mean that's incredible. Yeah. And you mentioned 
that customization is key, obviously, and that's one of the things that you're talking about kind of iconic to video games as a medium is customization. I mean, you want to talk a little bit more about that and like how fine, you know, how fine detailed you can get with that sort of thing? Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, and I think that was, look, in multiplayer, we've always done it, right? Yeah. Create a class, right. allowing you to customize your, you know, what you want to play with yep, this for your strategies, out. right? Yep, that. A lot of, it, it's, it, we roll it out to you, it's accessible over time, you know. If you haven't tried Call of Duty multiplayer, we don't give it to you all at once. We, we, you know, we, we roll it out to you, we let you earn it and experience it, master it, and then go back in and do that, right? Taking that cue, you know, we wanted to bring some of that experience to, to the campaign. That hasn't had that, right? It's a, it is an epic, you know, single player experience. Right, right. But we wanted to bring player choice into the campaign. And that affects how you, you know, create, you know, in, in 2065, what we have is the merging of technology and humanity in order right. to combat all the advanced robotics that have that have just advanced on the battlefield, right? right? It's great for gameplay fiction, right? Um, the fiction that we've created. And you'll be able to kit up and go out there and play, you and your friends, and you'll be able to take on different strategies and go in. And again, it's going to be your choice. As you play, you'll earn the ability to upgrade yourself and then be able to use those strategies when you play or, or go back pumped. and play and play them different, right? Or go back and play levels. Here's the deal. You could go all the way through the game and just have buffed yourself out in a particular way, go back to an early level, or just play a very a totally early level, way. yeah, with all of those abilities and play that level that way. Now, but, it, but would you just be dominating at that point, or is that kind of where the adaptive AI and the, and the dynamic levels kind of come in, is that you, you guys are tweaking it as you go? So it's, it's, it's not exactly like that, but we do take into account who's coming into the battle so sure. that it stays fun. Yeah. Um, you know, I think Call of Duty's always been known for having some epic scripted cinematic moments and Absolutely. scripted AI, and that's clearly fun. We're game designers, so we design the fun for the game, but this AI system is so expansive, so advanced, that it has so many different strategies and tactics that it can take, right? And not only that, there's just things that you can't do. If you haven't earned the ability to hijack a robot on the battlefield when you're early in the game, but you've earned it later and yeah. you've chosen it later, and those are those robots are on the battlefield, well, you can do that. Yeah. And so, so it's not Let's just about the AI, it's about what you can do to the AI, what you can do to the battlefield, and really make it a different game, a different experience every time. We really wanted to bring that replayability that people love, the depth and replayability that I think people really love about our multiplayer and also our Zombies game, Yeah. right? Yeah, of course, absolutely. our Zombies game, which is already a four-player co-op, up to four-player co-op experience, we want to bring that into the campaign for the players. And, that's, and of course, that was a huge spotlight on the press conference yesterday, was you guys having that amazing video that was showing the uh, all that gameplay of the multiplayer campaign. And I mean, I, I heard, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but is that like dynamic where you can bring, like you can bring yourself, you can bring two people, you can bring three people into that's, that. Yeah. And it's just, you just do what you want. Wh whatever friends you want to bring in, That's exactly it. right. And, and is and that look, all online or is that local as well? You or can online also only? play it local, split screen, okay. two players. Uh, but you can play up to four. You just, if, if, if there was two people sure. in, in each house or whatever it is. But yeah, of course. Mix and match, look, as uh, they say. I, I grew up in the day when there was no internet, when my first games, and I used to play Mark nonsense. My <laughs> what are you talking about, man? You're like I, 20, 22 yeah, right. at most? Come on. <laughs> so we used to, that's how we played multiplayer, was on the couch with our yeah, friends. And absolutely. I know a lot of people love to play split screen multiplayer and definitely zombies local. Absolutely. And you can do that, of course, with this, but you can also play it online if you guys are split screen. And, we just, you know, we just, we've been doing this for a long time. You, you know? have some experience. And, and, and for us, I mean, we're so proud of Black Ops 2, I'm so proud of my team. The reason that this team gets excited and motivated is so that we can mix it up each and every time and give players a new experience. And, you know, they really went after it from making the online nature of the campaign with new advanced graphic systems and, and co-op to the multiplayer, changing up the movement system, making it feel great, Absolutely. the ability to add the specialists and, and everything, all the gameplay and depth that that's gonna bring, and then and the zombies experience, which we're not getting into, but I can't wait to share it with you guys. More to come, it's, more it's, to come, you know, right? It's super creative, the team really goes for it, and, and my hat's off to them. I mean, they're just, they they're really are an inspiration for me. You know, I go out there on the floor and I look at all the, the care and the love and the craft and the sacrifice. I mean, the hours that this team puts into making this game and playing their game is incredible. It is, it is and year after year, so I'm just, I'm very fortunate. Well, I, I feel like it's really nice to hear you talk about that, man, especially on the live cast, so I'm glad you were able to share about the yeah. team. I love being able to hear about the people behind these huge, massive works of art, you know, that are being done, right? And 
it's just people. It's all just it's just people and their their creativity and their hard work, and that's that's what video games that's are. That's exactly what it is. Now, now I I gotta ask you this. Say someone is coming in, they see Call of Duty last night on our at our conference. They're like, you know what? I've never really tried a Call of Duty, but Black Ops Three looks pretty dope. What? How can they get in? Is it going to be accessible for them, or is there going to be a little bit of a little bit of a barrier that they're going to have to get over? Well, if you're watching this, unfortunately, you're not here at E3 because for the first time ever in franchise no. history, we have, and you know, ever in the in Call of Duty, we have multiplayer playable on the show floor. Right but now, don't worry. You're all going to get a chance oh. to have to do that. We're going to have a public I was like, beta they're all going to tune out. In they're going to be so set. Uh, you know, um, you can look up the details on that, but. We're going to do that sometime in August. The team is hard at work making sure we can release. But that beta in August, which we're really excited about, the last time the franchise has had a beta was when Treyarch did it with World at War. Which was uh, a little while ago. A little while ago. That was ago. a hot minute back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah almost seven years ago now. So um, we're excited to bring it back to the franchise, uh, being able to let players get their hands on it, give us feedback, critical feedback, that will help ensure when we release in November that it's solid. And I think, you know, we're very fortunate that I have, a, I have a very large test team that does a great job testing this, and we always launch very solid. Yeah. But we just want to make it as good as we can, and yeah, really absolutely. the fans can help us if they play the game and, uh, and then give us their feedback, because we're always listening. Now, when you go back, I mean, because you, you've been a Treyarch for a long time, we were talking about it before the show started. When you go back and look at the team's previous efforts and compare them to now, I mean, what is that like for you as a developer and as someone that is in charge of a whole studio? Um, it's, it's, it's humbling. Um, I mean, I think, you know, this team has, has not always enjoyed the success in this franchise that we have now. It was hard fought, hard earned by a lot of hard work from people. And every single year, this team just keeps pushing forward and they want to better themselves. They want to do the best work of their lives every single time we come out. And that's, that's no different. And I think it's really important, especially coming off something that was fortunately as successful as Black Ops and Black Ops 2 was. Yeah. You know, I think a team, a creative organization, needs to be motivated. They need to stay hungry. And and when you have that, yeah, I like that. great things can happen. Yeah. Um, but I can't tell you how many things we've tried and, and you know, it was heartbreaking that didn't make it this, during this development. But we learn something from each, each and every thing that we do. We try and learn how we can make our game better, how we can make our craft better, how we can make each other better to make the best games we possibly can, the best art we possibly can, the best animation, the best audio, and on and on and on. And it really is an amazing studio that, um, you know, I don't know what I did in whatever past life to, to be able to work with such talented people every day. Um, it's just, it's truly incredible. And, and to see how many millions of people all over the world enjoy what we do is truly, is truly an honor. Awesome. Man, I'm like, I'm like speechless right now. We'll just cancel the rest of the show, man. You like closed it out. Well, let's 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 return to the moment. Okay. We've had our moment of reflection. Yeah. We're returning to the moment. We're at E3. You said kind of a historic first. We got the multiplayer here on the show floor. Do you want to tease a little bit of what you guys are showing off this week to all the folks that are here in LA? Yeah, it's pretty epic. I mean, obviously we we just teased it last night. We gave you guys a little bit of taste for the campaign. A little taste. An appetizer. A little bit, an appetizer. We showed you the multiplayer trailer. We have a lot of fun making by the way these are some epic runs uh it took a while to get oh, um, you yes, would want this these video people, you would want these people on your team any day of the week uh, <laughs> uh you know but we think the fans love to see the epic runs yeah. it gives us a chance to show off a bunch of different abilities and weapons so here's the deal the campaign is an epic display here at sony for the very first time you know you guys have been so gracious we have an awesome theater booth there's gonna be an awesome 15 minute campaign co-op campaign display um, that I hope the fans will get a chance to see a little bit later. But if you're here, Worth the wait. yeah, it's 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 fantastic. It's it, you know, it really shows a lot of breadth, a lot of diversity that you get in the campaign because I showed what I showed you last night in that four to five minutes of gameplay was just an, an epic like hellstorm of stuff was, going on. It right? was exhilarating. But man. everybody, if you look at each of those individual plays, like the players are all playing them pretty differently. Um, so we want to show a lot of different diversity, you know. Like uh, in, the, in the multiplayer footage? In, in the campaign. Oh, in the campaign In footage. the campaign, okay, okay. co-op. So yeah. that's here at Sony. Yeah. And if you go over to Activision, or pe play, people at Activision are getting their hands on multiplayer. I mean, day you know, day in, day out now, throughout E3, it's on the show floor. Uh, we're going to have streams out there, and people will be able to see plenty of it. Um, look, I, 
I look at Black Ops 2 online today, and I know a lot of you still play that game. I can't wait to get it in, into your hands. I think that's the most important thing. It feels so good. Yeah. This really, this game is really not just about the last three years. It's really been a decade in the making for Treyarch. It really is the best of everything that we've ever made in campaign multiplayer and zombies, and then a lot of new creativity brought to that on top of it. Dude, that's incredible. Now I'm, I'm really glad, I, I will we'll probably have to wrap up soon, but I'm really glad you brought up that multiplayer footage because I completely forgot to ask you about that. You're saying I won't look that good when I'm playing for the first time. I hope I'm not. Too. I'm not just gonna like just blend into the code and just become this one fluid motion of every perfect shot. <laughs> well, the idea is that you will feel powerful. Now I'll get there uh, eventually. But here's maybe. the deal: I've played with you guys online, and no, there will be some not, of you. Really? You don't who have will, your own. We'll have these epic runs, and you know I play this game every day, but I am constantly amazed and surprised at the talent and skill of these players who've been playing this game. It's incredible, and they'll know. I mean, you can, we, we made this, you know, there's a lot of first person in this. Yeah. You know, we do have, we cut it is, a few, it's a first person first shooter. shots to make the show, because <laughs> we're, we're doing some narrative here. Yeah. But but you can almost feel this. I mean, this trailer, it's, it literally. It's kinetic, yeah. yeah. And there's just all kinds of toys on the battlefield to play with. I think it shows off a variety of maps, a variety of the specialists, showing you the diversity of what you get to play with those specialists. Look, you still get create a class, you get to create your own weapon and, and, and you know, build out your weapon in this game for the first time. You can personalize it oh my God. in our paint shop. Make, you know, there'll be, if you want to, you can personalize your weapon so there'll be nothing like it out there in the world with that paint shop and the configuration that you have. There's just so much you can do and there's so much depth. And I think people Dude. are just gonna be playing it and, and sharing uh, all the experiences. And really, it's about playing, you know, it's always about playing with others online. So there's a lot of great tools. We wanna make it a social experience. Let people have fun. Let people share their experiences online. Dude, that's so fun. Thank you so much for coming here, just like sharing your passion with us, telling us about the team behind it. Dude, that's so awesome. So thank you, Mark. Hi, you're I welcome. Really this is Mark Lamia, the studio head at Treyarch. They are making Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which is coming to PS4 November 6th. That's right. Thank you again for sharing your passion. Best of luck for the rest yeah. of the show. And we are not done because we are broadcasting for basically like the whole E3. We have so much awesome content included in that awesome content. Anthony, my buddy Carboni, is going to be doing some Star Wars Battlefront, so please stay with us. We will be right back with PlayStation Livecast. PlayStation.